We now know why this guy is snying mm. because according to culture, he must not move an inch. Let me show you an example. Mm. You know they go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you know they go anywhere. <laughs> they say even if now governor come, governor gas, waka come meet and collect this wine for here. He's not moving an inch. So I mean, they don't subject me to another cop. Today, our journey takes us deeper into the bank forest where we are going to learn about the unique culture of palm wine in this region. Buckle up those shoelaces, it is going to be a long journey. So, a very good morning to you guys from Bank Village here in the Mambila Plateau region of Nigeria. This morning, we are heading into the forest of this village to learn about the unique way of which palm wine is being tapped in this region. We have a very experienced palm wine tapper who we are going to be going with, so we are just getting ready to move. I'll miss you if you go Yes, I'm gonna let you know Just how much I tell your mama Roads are just incredibly bad I have to come down at some point for the bike to move on Oh boy You'll get tired of my voice That's how much I'm gonna tell you I'll miss you if you go and we've come to a junction, the bikes have been packed, so we are going to continue trekking down into the forest as you guys can see. Let's go. Literally in the middle of the jungle right now. And for sure, this is what it feels like to be in a thick forest. It's dark, it is eerie. We can barely see our front. But yeah, we are just covered with large trees and bushes all around us. Let us go there and I will, and I will explain it to you. 30 minutes into the trek and we spotted the first palm tree with our guide explaining the science behind tapping wine. This science is explained further in the video. Then you cut it for a period of time. After when it has <coughs> bring a, a young, fresh one again, then you cut it and begin to be tap it. Okay. But in the first place, this is raffia palm now. Okay, okay. Not palm tree. This is a raffia palm. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. As you see this one. Okay. There will be a small one under it. Okay. As it has not spread its leaf like other this or uh, like this other one. Okay. Yes. When the young one is coming down, mm -hmm. it's shown the age of maturity. Maturity. Yeah. yeah. Then you cut it. Okay. You cut it. Mm -hmm. The entire stem. Yes, you cut it. It will be like this one. Okay, I get now. Mm -hmm. See, if you if you miss to cut it at the maturity time, okay, it will develop like this one. Okay, and it is this one when you tap it, when it, it is still in the normal level, mm -hmm. it is the one that is giving us wine. That's giving us wine. Okay. Yeah. But you mentioned that this is raffia palm. Yes. And just palm tree too. Yes. But all of them produce wine. This uh, yes, they produce. Wine, but okay. the other one, this one you used to, they clam yeah, on know, top know, and tap. Uh -huh. But this one, it is at this level. That is, okay. Uh -huh. So but this is this is the one that you basically, they basically tap here in, in, in this uh, area. Oh, okay, okay. The wine is tapped from all palm tree varieties: the oil palm, raffia palm, and date palm. Wine made from oil palm and raffia palms are typically the most popular in Nigeria. There's a lot of learning to go, and it's so slippery here because there are so many dry sticks. So watch your steps. So I was just having a conversation with the palm wine tapper. Okay. And I'm saying the reason why they have not exactly cleared the bushes that leads to where they are tapping their wine is really because of security. One, I mean, you, if the road is cleared, then that means a lot of people from the higher, you know, side can see into the palm wine forest, so to say, and when they tap their wine and keep, someone can just come and steal it. And also, it will be very accessible for the cattle to just, you know, walk through the farms and everything. So that is the reason why everywhere is bushy and unkept. So it's just a, um, a kind of um, security measure to their trade, actually. Almost there. That's what he said <laughs> for the third time. <laughs> What I'm saying is, okay. this one has reached the edge of typing now. Of typing now. Uh -huh. Then I will come and operate it okay. on Monday. Okay, great. That's next Monday? Yes, this coming Monday. This coming Monday. Yes. Cool. 
Okay, I noticed that there's, there's a cut here. When did you make this cut? It was after yesterday. After yesterday? But it has stayed for like two months. Two months. Uh -huh. Orders used to be two months, one month. Okay. And if you have not, if like this big forest, yeah. if your eye could not reach the, 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 the eyes of the mind. What am I trying to say? Essentially, for a shoot to produce enough wine, it must be operated on within a particular time frame of maturity. This involves making the fresh cut and allowing it to stay for one or two months before tapping. But if you just cut it and operate it at that very moment, at that very moment it yeah. will not give you as, as it was expecting to. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, it's about to get started tapping the one that is ready to be tapped right now and we're going to see the process. So, come close. Okay, you covered this one. Yes. What, what was the reason for covering it? To hinder jams. Okay, good. Or rainfall. Okay. Not to interfere with the with the wine. With the wine. Perfect. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> and also maybe from theft, someone can just come and tap it, right? Yeah. <laughs> someone who is trustless. <laughs> okay, so how, how long has this one been here? Since the day. From the age of uh, maturity, okay. yes, yeah. I started operating from here. Okay. Uh -huh. I will tap when it is when it has started leaking. Okay. Uh -huh. Then you bring this thing. Okay, that's like a pipe. You just yes, connect the pipe. Uh, lay, yes, to type it. Okay. So that the wine will follow through it. Through it. Uh, down okay. the so how, how long have you been collecting this one now? Has it been up to a month? Almost two. Almost two months. This is why okay. which I've been collecting. Oh wow! And the others, I used to carry and drink or sell. Okay. To do one or two things. With. Okay. Hmm. All right. So one question I want to ask, huh? Yeah. So for example, now this this was collected from here. Yeah. This is already filled up. This is another it keg is, going. It's not filled. Okay, but almost filled up. Half. But this is another one going here. Yes. So. How long does it take for this shoot to run out of wine? Or does it ever run out of wine? Is it possible? Hey, it, it used to run out of wine. Okay. Yeah. So about how long do you think that would take? How, 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 how much wine would you have tapped before the tree runs out of wine? Before you have to leave it and go to another tree? Orders used to be like three months, two months. Unluckily, one month. Okay. Yeah. So if it does run out of wine, does it make more wine in the future? Yeah, like this eye, as I have cut it and I have tied it, mm -hmm. that is just all about it. That's all about this eye is done. Yes. Then if I will continue, if I want to continue to tie, okay, like you make one. another eye again. Uh -huh. Perfect. Great, great, great. So this is another eye in the progress. Yes. Okay. Okay. With the other two. With the other two. <laughs> and there's one here again. Okay. So in this house, at the end of all this, all this, all this, all this eye. All this eye. Yeah. But what day? Now that means be here. What day? Ah. Yes, I be here. What day? Okay. So the tree will be done. Done. Mm. So at the end of all the eyes, like all the points of which you can tap from, that means the tree will be done. The tree will not die, it will keep growing, right? Exactly. But it will not really produce wine anymore. Mm, yes. Okay, that's then good to know. To then you move to another tree. Yeah. But also, is this tree your tree or you just come to the forest and find any tree? No. I lure it. You? I lure it. That is rent. Okay, you okay. rent it. Okay, lease it. You rent it. Yeah. So somebody owns this tree. Yeah. Then you rent it from the person. Yes. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. That is a serious trade. That is a serious trade. Mm. So it's not really only one making money from this business of you know, the palm wine, there's also someone who he rents the tree from and the person also makes some money because he has to pay that person so as you guys can see, this is a local economy not just for him, but the entire region of the Mambila Plate too as well Palm wine, a very esteemed drink in the Nigerian culture Palm wine has survived urbanization in Nigeria retaining all of its social and cultural values Research shows that an average palm tree yields less than a litre of sap per day Due to deforestation, the amount of wine gathered by most tapas has now diminished greatly in the last decade. Some tapas and sellers now alter their palm wine with artificial sugars and yeast. Today, it is nearly impossible to get palm wine in the purest form in cities. But here in the Mambila Plateau, in a village like Bang, where urbanization is still very far-fetched, having a palm wine in the purest form is still pretty much the only way to enjoy this alcoholic beverage. 
that a gum? Yes, it's a gum. Okay, you see from it? this, like a sap, something from the tree. Yes, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Get. So as you guys can see, it's got a keg and it's got sort of a funnel. The funnel has a net inside to sieve the particles from the wine itself. So you just have pure palm wine going into the keg. You mix this one with this, this one? one? Yeah. Yes. Okay. If I mix this one with this one, okay. If you are not a real palm wine taker, mm -hmm. you take like one or two cup, it will drunken you. Okay. That's if you take this one like this. No, that's if he mix it. Oh, if he mix this it. This one is just to this one. Oh, okay. Then this one, he will mix it. Okay. Then it will become very nice. Very nice, okay. okay. All right, okay. The tapper mixes the tapped wine from yesterday with that of today to make it more palatable. But that's not the only reason for doing so. The next reason, well, it comes as a shock. There we go. You know, there is a time. We are stopping, we are stopping uh, other people from drinking the fresh wine. The fresh wine. Because maybe you, you have come into contact with a woman. Mm -hmm. And you drink it, mm -hmm. you will spoil the the wine. Are you serious? Yes. The salt. Spoil the salt. Mm, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So culture don't start again. <laughs> <laughs> I suspect culture at play. <laughs> is this, are you really? Is this a culture thing? Yes, it's a culture. So you're saying if you drink palm wine now, yeah, and you mate with a woman, it, any no, any it, woman. Excuse me. Like I think we are we are, we are just from the bed. Mm -hmm. eh? I don't know, maybe you sleep with uh, okay. a woman. Any woman or your wife or any woman? No, any woman. What I'm really saying is, okay. this fresh one, mm -hmm. this fresh one, mm. we do not usually give to anybody. Okay. Uh -huh. With the fear of that, you, you must have, or you should have come in contact with a girl or mm -hmm. woman. Mm -hmm. Is it before or after? Like before. Before. Morning. Before. Like we are coming, like coming now. Yes. Maybe you slept with a woman. Mm -hmm. We are just coming. Then me, I'm, I'm tapping. Okay. I'm confident with myself. Okay. Okay. Then yeah. I, I accidentally, you just come. I will give you this fresh this one. Fresh one. Uh -huh. Then it will destroy the whole, the whole thing. thing. Yeah. Even though there's no direct contact from the person to the wine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just a culture out thing. And it happens. Mm -hmm. Wow. Fantastic. So you now, are you married or you're not married? I'm married. So... If you now you come, you will not take this one. Because I, you I will not take. Woman. I will not take. Oh, okay. I may at least bring water and drop yes, on it, in on it, okay. and drink. Or I will take ground okay. and put in it before okay. taking before it. Taking okay. Wow. Culture. That is culture, <laughs> man. The <laughs> reason. If someone, if someone bring out like this five liters and give it at least to the both of you maybe 10 of you mm -hmm. you, you must be very careful with the fear that he should have put something in the wine and the first one you have to give it to him if he did not take the both of you will not take, not take. okay uh -huh. so right now you are going to take first yes i will take but this one is not ample. Wow, fresh one. I did not. <laughs> that, this is because you have not slept with any, any woman. woman. Mm -hmm. So guys, I've been given the fresh palm wine, and this is really because I have not slept with any woman. If I have slept with any woman, then I will totally ruin the entire palm wine tapping process. But thank God I'm a clean guy. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I get to enjoy a clean palm wine. Fresh. Yeah, the freshest of them all. Let's go. <laughs> you don't get this. <laughs> this is fresh, oh. It's very, very fresh. It's different from that one. Yeah, exactly. Right. Wow. <laughs> Does culture demand that I finish it? Yes. This whole thing. <laughs> wow. So I am being roasted. This is the level where the wine is right now. This I must finish it. Like this video must go live. I must finish it. So I'm finishing it for you guys. Okay. So you guys better watch this video. <laughs> drop your comments. Share it with your friends. I'm getting high for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, wow. So, sir, thank you so much for sharing your knowledge of palm wine with us and for showing us the process of how palm wine has been tapped. So, I have a few questions I need to ask you. Um, how would you say this raffia palm is? 
50 or 60 years. Wow. Is permanent tapping sufficient for you and your family? Like, is it sufficient for you to raise your family? No, I used to type this one. I have many things doing. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. A, a proverb says that if you want to put your eggs, don't put them all in one basket. basket. Perfect. Do you think you would train any of your child to also learn the process of tapping wine? No, I hate <laughs> tapping wine. I hate tapping wine because of a reason, one or two reasons. Okay. Anytime, like this one, you come in the eyes two times in a day. Okay. Look at the distance we have just left. Striking with food. And in this modest world, if I train my child in that in that way, that it means I've destroyed him. Yeah, right. So at time we do endure. Because culturally, in time of dowry, if there is not wine, mm -hmm. you will not succeed in yeah. others' home. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. That is fantastic. Thank mm -hmm. you for sharing your knowledge with us. Put it in there. Thank you so much, and thanks for the wine. Thank you. We thank God. Yeah. Palm wine, called undum in the Mamila language, is a tool for social coercion, a drink that brings both the wealthy and ordinary together. The process of tapping may now be a cake, but to long culture demands, palm wine will always remain as one of the most important alcoholic beverage of the African culture. So alright guys, it's been an absolute pleasure making this video and learning about the unique culture of the palm wine in the Mambila Plateau region. This is my ungap, I used it to drink my undum, which is the palm wine, and now it's done, so the video is done. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to catch you in the next episode. Bye for now. This is a snake attempting to swallow a rat. Yes, I'm a Taiwan typer, mm -hmm. so I must have to protect myself. How? I have to swallow the medicine, like uh, medicine of snake, and others on dangerous animal, so that when they see me, they will run away from me. You see these, uh, these wish people, these wicked beings, mm. they are also there. Uh -huh. So like. You are a student, study well, study with the knowledge given to you by the living creator. And if you pray, he will help you succeed in all what you are doing. Amen. Serious words of wisdom, man.